another overcast spring day in New England. It ain't raining yet. We've got a couple hours before that. That's why we're getting out. So today we are back where we were a couple videos ago in that chunk of public space where out there we found that footprint where the loggers cabin was. An iron hook up here. The bottom part is brass. M. Well, it could be W. It's the brass joint of a measuring stick. That's iron. Maybe from a shoe. And that was that way where the ground has been shifted. Well, today we're going that way. And we're going to see what's out here. On this end. Yeah, you can see it was logged a long time ago. Hence the logging cabin. Either way, we got the metal detector. We're dry at the moment, and we got some time, so let's go. So same as the other day, these are the best days for me, no expectations. Just a big chunk of open space land. It's New England, there's lots of history, and uh, we explore. And hopefully along the way we find a place of interest, or places, to metal detect. Wow, well, looks a lot better on this side. So this area goes back as far as the 1730s for colonists. And there's a lot of it I've never walked through. Mostly in part, it was logged about, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. So you can see the grow back is kind of short and thick but obviously by the walls and the walls we will cross this is definitely old farmland now just to find a piece that looks inviting to swing in so we'll move on a bit down this this is a logging road get on past all this. Let's see if we can find some old ground. Pretty uh pretty tore up. Okay, well, 25 minutes out. A lot of zigzagging, but we are on what looks like unbroken land. It was logged probably 80, 90 years ago. Now we start looking. There's got to be some walls and stuff out here. Hopefully. That's definitely some fresh logging. Yuck. This is like real fresh doesn't look that big of a lot though we'll get through it they logged a lot more than I thought they did but I'm starting to find stacked rocks so somebody was attempting to clear out here or they did clear out here and just, it looks that bad now Yeah, those are definitely stacked. Huh. That kind of looks like a cellar to me with a chimney stack. Well, it ain't absolutely destroyed right here, but wish I found it a uh, year, a year ago. Then again, without it being logged, I might not have. All right, let's give it a go. First signal, good numbers. I'm actually inside the footprint of the house. Oof. Oh, beautiful relic. That, see the nail on the back, the post? Actually, it's probably 
Yeah, it is a nail. It's a drop hole knob. It's either lead or pewter. I've, uh, I've dug them before this design. Well, that's a great start. Oh, I like that signal. Go wide on this one. Oh, we have coin. I think I see George. Let me uh, brush it and dry it out a bit. Well, we definitely have a King George the second. No doubt about that. And on the date side, I can't see it right now, but obviously later, while editing, I will put it in there if I can see it. Awesome. Well, I think it's easy to say nobody's detected this one. Those two signals are arm length apart and immediate. No working for it. Beautiful. Oh, cool. Little button. With fancy. I think that's pewter. It is pewter. Yeah. This is definitely one of them early sites. Hmm. Shotgun willy. Never fails. Whoa, it's a button, maybe. I have seen this design before, and actually I've seen it on a coin too. Jeez. Hold on. 70. It could just be the design, but with those lines, I've seen that on um, early American Revolution type sites uh, where that is symbolic. It was a button. I can see where the shank was. Huh. And as I count it, there are 13 bars on that. Jeez, I wonder if it is. We'll find out when we get home. All right, the button. Here's the thing. Couldn't think of it out in the woods. In 1785, they made what was called a copper bar scent. And it had this exact design on it, 13 bars. On the other side, and this is a genuine one that I dug, was the USA of a Continental Army button. So one side was this, one side was this. Online, all I could find was Continental Army officer buttons had 13 bars. I can only find it in written text. I saw one example of a cuff link, but no pictures of this button. There's a website that used to be up that was like all GW, you know, inaugural buttons, and then it had a bunch of other stuff on it. I swear I've seen this button, but I could not find it. So as of this video, I cannot give you any type of confirmation on this other than it's in really good shape exception of shank missing and it is made of the same uh it's the same makeup and material as a continental navy button which i've dug several of that were produced for us by the french so same era same material i don't know but keep watching because just 
keep watching. Chunk of pewter. More pewter. Oh, right into my hand. Oh. Beautiful. It's a, an escutcheon for a keyhole. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's handmade. Crude, uneven, gorgeous. Wow. So, what are we? Six, seven weeks into the season. You guys have seen me cover a lot of ground looking for a place like this and just think a couple videos ago we were well we were way over there but we were still on the same chunk of uh land thank you Nice button with uh, a drilled shank. Yeah, same era. Wow. Little iron buckle. Cool. So we are very fortunate that not only we found the place, but just where the house was is not destroyed unfortunately the entire yard is just covered with logs and ruts that's a shame but it is what it is definitely we'll be making a return trip at some point and spending an hour cleaning all right back to it Another button. With design. Beautiful. Nice piece of pottery. We'll take that. Oh, what is that? Oh, sweet. Little knee buckle. Looks like the innards are iron. Let me clean that up. Absolutely. All 1700 stuff, which is uh, even better. Not that the 1800 stuff isn't cool, but I really love these early sites. part of a shoe buckle chafe. Where's the rest of the buckle? Well, so far, I'd say without hesitation, best uh, solo dig for me of the year. And you know, you see rock walls. You know, if you live in a place where people had to deal with rocks, then these are the things you look for. Rock walls, good. Stacked rocks, piles, a little bit better. 
when you see strips like that one I walked by and said, oh yeah, definitely. When you see strips of 10, 15, 20 feet, that's living space stuff. That was right over there, maybe 60 feet from where the house was. That's it, that was the clue. Man, I am just so bummed though that they probably logged this last year. A button. Huh. It's got bars on it. It's smaller, obviously. That is beyond coincidence. Let me clean this. So I just counted. There's 13 bars on that, which represents the 13 colonies. That is just amazing. Wow. Well, I hate to say it, but we gotta go. That rain is coming in shortly. Probably a 35 minute hike straight back. I don't wanna get caught in it. Today was just awesome. And to think, I've hiked through here on either end several times in the last 15 years. Just got lucky today. Or, like I always say, eventually you're gonna run out of space to cover. You'll either find some place or you won't. You know? Digging things up can be a little bit tricky in the iron. It's finding the places that is the most difficult. Especially in this day and age. This is one in a hundred that we'll visit. All right, I'm coming back here next time. Gonna clean some brush. See what else we can find, so I really hope you all tune back in.